Chapter 15 Clad in the sheath dress, Elsa stood at the entrance of Platinum Corporation. Not only was she charming and alluring, but many paparazzi also took pictures of her and assumed that she was a new rising star. Even the security guard thought Elsa was a celebrity and were cautious not to stop her. She went all the way up to the president's office, chancing upon Pearl walking out when she was just about to knock on the door and enter. Pearl was going to pour tea for Daryl at that time. The moment she opened the door and saw Elsa, she immediately ejected the latter from the building after knowing that she was sent by the Linden family. Was there anyone who did not know who Elsa was? As a renowned beauty in Donghai City, she had many suitors and always rejected them. On that day, however, she was the one who experienced rejection, and she felt lingering displeasure. The old lady was beyond anxious when she learned of what happened. The next day at the Linden family villa. It was Grandmother Linden's birthday, and the atmosphere was lively in the villa. Family members rushed back, regardless of where they were, and news of Grandmother Linden's 70th birthday also made its rounds throughout Donghai City. It was only natural to invite plenty of people to her 70th birthday. Although the Linden family was a second-rate family, there were still quite a number of people who were invited to the birthday banquet. A fleet of cars was seen parked outside the Linden family villa. In front of a Land Rover stood Lily and Samantha, who were both looking impatiently at their watches. Very soon, they saw an electric bike driving over slowly. Once the vehicle stopped, Daryl hurried over. There was a traffic jam. It was a bad traffic jam, Daryl explained breathlessly. Damn it! Pearl was supposed to drive him there, but the traffic was far too congested. After being stuck for more than an hour on the viaduct, he promptly took out the electric bike from the trunk and rode it over as the banquet was about to start soon. As it were, the Lindens were a prominent family promoting many guests to look over and begin laughing when they saw someone riding an electric bike. Look, isn't that Daryl, the Linden's live-in son-in-law? You bet it's him. <laughs> Such a prick. He's lucky to get married to a beauty like Lily. Ha ha ha, you don't know anything. I heard that this kid has been sleeping on the floor, even though he lived with Lily for three years. Ha 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 ha. Several juniors from the White family gathered together to gossip. The Whites and the Lindens have maintained good relations for generations and were linked through several marriages. They thus had intimate knowledge of the Linden family. Lily felt a little embarrassed after hearing those loud discussions. She said to Daryl, Can you park the bike a bit further next time? Didn't you notice that there are plenty of guests here? Oh, Daryl nodded indifferently. Samantha was infuriated to see his attitude. It was such an important day, yet he still wore some street stall clothes? How could he be so shameless? Have you prepared Grandma's present? Lily asked in a low tone. <laughs> yes. Daryl chuckled and took out a very shabby-looking wooden box. You! Lily stomped after seeing the box. What kind of gift is this? It's Granny's 70th birthday today. You can't just give her some junk. It's not junk, Lily responded succinctly. Not junk? That box was practically broken. Unable to hold it any longer, Samantha pointed at Daryl to curse at him, only to be interrupted by a voice. Calling all the Linden family children to wish Grandma a happy birthday. As soon as the person finished their words, hundreds of people from the Linden family swarmed into the villa. Samantha glared at Daryl. She suppressed her intention of scolding him and hurried in. At that moment, the guests were already seated inside the villa. The old lady was dressed in a very festive manner. She sat on the main seat and looked incredibly jubilant. President Sohn of the Skybrook Group. Please come forward and offer your birthday wishes. The host held a microphone and called out. A middle-aged man walked up. He was Albert Sohn, who was worth hundreds of millions and had a very good relationship with the old lady. He was followed by his female secretary, who held a big box in her hand. 
ho, 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 ho. May you have a blessed birthday and a long life, Grandma Linden. Albert laughed and opened the box. Gasps were heard from all around. It was a cloisonne from the Qing dynasty. Cloisonne, also known as cloisonne enamel, possessed a noble history. The vase in front of her looked like it was from the Qianlong period. At first glance, it appeared to be a premium item with a value that was probably no less than one million. Such respect! A million dollar birthday gift! All right, all right. President Son, please have a seat. You don't need to spin so much next time. My heart will always remember you. Thank you, President Son. The old lady was so happy that she nodded repeatedly and could not even close her mouth. As everyone knew, Grandmother Linden liked antiques, and she loved the gift. After that, all the other gifts looked much plainer in comparison. It was not until William appeared that everyone in the audience paid full attention. Everyone heard that William would present a momentous gift for Grandmother Linden's birthday. After all, he was her favorite. William held a box, then tucked his hair before walking to the center and bowing to Grandmother Linden. Grandmother, I, William Linden, hereby wish you a long and prosperous life, William grinned. No one cared about what he said. Their sole focus was the box in his hand. The box was not that big, but it was entirely green and was crafted from the highest quality jade. So luxurious! A gift box made of pure jade! William gave a lengthy speech before he finally got to the point and snapped his fingers. The lights within that initially bright room immediately went out. The curtains were also drawn, and the room plunged into complete darkness. The crowd was becoming restless when William assured, Don't panic, everyone. My gift to Granny requires the light to be switched off. As he said that, he opened the jade box swiftly, eliciting gasps of awe. There was a fist-sized night-shining pearl inside the jade box. When the night shining pearl made its appearance, it did not shine as bright as day, but it was at least as bright as eight or nine candles. Just how much would this huge piece of night shining pearl cost? Probably upward of two million. Okay, 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 the old lady laughed. William, Grandma didn't pamper you in vain. Everyone joined in the applause. His gift was nothing short of spectacular. Such a huge night-shining pearl was a rarity in Donghai City. At that juncture, however, Daryl unwittingly chuckled out loud. <laughs> Is William trying to be funny? Others might not have an eye for it, but Daryl could see that the night-shining pearl was worth no more than 10,000 bucks. It was obviously synthetic. Was there any treasure that Daryl never came across growing up in the Darby family? The office of the family company's general manager had a fist-sized night shining pearl, too. That pearl cost more than two million. Although it was not expensive, money alone could not buy it. Natural night shining pearls had always been regarded as priceless. In ancient times, it was only emperors and empresses who could own such pearls. Since the demand for it was high, some devious individuals used chemicals to artificially fuse the smaller pearls together to make it big. Synthetic night-shining pearls were easy to spot. They were glued in the middle. The traces of glue in William's night-shining pearl were too obvious. What are you laughing at? At that moment, William jumped out and yelled at Daryl. For a brief moment, all eyes were on Daryl. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't control myself. Daryl covered his mouth. <laughs> Your pearl is just so fake. You, what the hell are you talking about? William blushed and shouted. He knew that the night shining pearl was fake, but no one from the Linden family had ever seen one before. Therefore, no one present could tell the genuine product from the counterfeit one. Daryl's comment that it was fake only served to increase William's anxieties. Quit your nonsense, Daryl, Lily nudged Daryl lightly. 
Daryl would be made a victim if he provoked William. Sure enough, William sneered. You're a living son-in-law. You only get two hundred bucks daily for your pocket money. Understandably, you wouldn't know what a night shining pearl is. I won't argue with you, but I'm curious to see what gift you'll be giving Grandma. William had secretly glanced over and seen Darrow holding a broken box in his hand. Ha <laughs> ha, the box is so shabby that it's worthless. Darrow did not speak either but he really could not control himself from laughing. On one side, Samantha gritted her teeth angrily before looking at Daryl and warned, Get out of here if you don't stop laughing! <laughs>